that almost concludes the Uncle Mike portion of tonight. The climate change group is going to come down for one last skit here. And while they're coming down, I'm just going to let you guys know that there are some books up here for sale from Francie and I think from Bonnie as well. Bonnie, do you have books down here as well? Yes. You do? Okay, yeah. Sorry, I can't see that, that far now. Uh, as well, the Anvil Center, I was given some brochures today. If you're interested in the programming, they've just released their schedule. There's some of those down front here as well. Otherwise, for next week, Poetry in the Park has their usual three features. We have Manolis, we have Jonina Curtin, who's back there hiding behind a, a puppy, and we have Gail Van... Van Kelsey, sorry. Don't have my notes in front of me, and I have a head injury. It's a bad combination. I don't know about the head injury, but I'm sure glad to have Kyle here because he is absolutely saving us. Take that mic, and I'll take this one. I think so. Okay, and our announcer actually is not here, so I'm just going to take a quick peek and make sure I haven't forgotten anything serious. Serious. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty obvious. I like to cook. Um. I think the inspiration for this little skit came from a friend of mine who's a dedicated vegan. I am not a dedicated vegan, but I'm pretty vegetarian. And the really important part of this is the dressing, so watch out for the dressing. Now I regret saying I was a ham. Sorry, vegetarian. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> All right, you, you've got the avocado dressing. Yes, I have. I've got it right here. And you've got the chopped greens somewhere there. I've got the chopped greens, and in with the greens, I've got a few oranges, a bit of pepper, that sort of uh, thing. The corn? The corn, yep, the corn is here. You can sort of see the layers. I did it in a beautiful layered way. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, I put in the dressing. I hope you washed your hands. Of course I washed my hands. And and now you've given the dressing a good last beating? Uh, yeah, I did, that, I did it that at home so we wouldn't have to, you know, wash so, and eat it here. So avocado, good olive oil, some lemon juice, salt and pepper. Um, yeah. And, uh, I, no meat? Yeah. You want to say this one, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm mixing it with the greens and the corn, so I have to actually mix. That's why I was sort of avoiding leaving the mic. Um, why no meat? Um, oh yeah, um, yeah, there's no meat in here. Um, there's a reason for that, because if we have the meat, we sort of have to go through the middleman to get the, the salad. Or, you know, oh. even addressing to some extent. So the food comes directly to us. Yeah, no middle man or no middle animal. So one of the climate changes in the skits is no more meat. Yeah, that's right. It is a climate change skit. So, yeah, it does mention no meat. Back to the salad. How's it coming? Uh, it's coming really well. I'm just going to finish mixing it up, and then we're going to taste it. How many of you remember what's in the dressing? And I didn't say amounts, and I can just say 
if you think of making this, then just substitute the avocado for the mayo that you would put in ordinarily. Or if you're just sort of vegetarian instead of vegan, you'd probably use the mayo. But the avocado is better. While she prepares, Francis Lillian is going to sing and dance. <laughs> So I mix these up. I've made it mostly corn, and to tell the truth, I added something that I did not put in the script. Alcohol. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we're not going. To, we're not. We're a family friendly evening, and I, you never know. Anyway, um, I did taste the dressing though before I came, and I thought maybe a little curry powder. So I added a little curry powder, and lots of fresh corn, as you can see. And I'm just going to put it in the dish here, and then I'm going to put a garnish of um, red pepper on top, and it's ready to go. Now, we're going to taste this, but it's a little bit awkward. You know, I have a, a permit to do this in Fort Moody, and... Um, they made me say that I wouldn't offer samples because, you know, I'm not sort of legally able to do that. But, um, you know, there are a lot of friends here, aren't there? If it accidentally falls in your mouth, nobody says anything. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. And there you are. Look at the beautiful Thank presentation. You. Thank you all. Enjoy your week. Come on up and have something fall into your mouth. And we'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>